So in the series of learning C programming, we are discussing structures in C. In the previous video, we have discussed structure padding in C. In this video, we will see what is structure packing in C. We are only left with this small topic of a structure like and I will show you practical also right. We will take two or three examples like we have discussed what we have discussed in the previous video those examples and I will show you the output right like with the structure padding without structure padding and if you use structure packing in the program then what output you will get. So all the kind of variations we will see practically in this video right. But before that I just want to tell you one thing if you guys are preparing for gate 2023 examination or will be preparing for this examination then N Academy has started a batch from 8th of December. In this course they are going to cover all the subjects of CS and IT and help you to prepare for your gate examination. This course will include strategy tips and tricks, practice questions and numericals along with the detailed explanation of the concepts. And the course will be covered in Hindi and English and notes would be given to you in English only. And the, all the doubts related to any topic will be clarified in the doubt clearing sessions in the course. So this would be paid subscription but you can use my code JKL10 to get extra 10% discount on this paid subscription. And an academy is also going to conduct a scholarship test for GATE and ESC on 12th of December at 11 am. This would be live test and you can take this test for free you just have to enroll for this test. So here you will get a chance to compete with thousands of learners from all over India and you stand a chance to win 100 up to 100% scholarship and some other exciting prizes as well. In this test you will get 20 questions and the time it would be 60 minutes and th these questions are very challenging and original gate questions that has been curated by their best gate and ESC educators. So here you can assess your preparation in just 60 minutes with the help of that live leaderboard. You can see how you rank against all the others from all over India with the help of that live leaderboard that would be updated after every question. And after every contest detailed video solutions would be given to you by their experts so that you can identify your weak areas and you can change your preparation trajectory if needed. Plus one more offer you will get here on purchasing a plus subscription of one year or above you will get six months free. So you can just unlock your true potential with the, this extra learning time you will get and this offer is valid for one day only. And you can use my code JKL10 to get extra 10% discount on these paid subscriptions. So all the links and all the relevant details I'll put in the description box of this video. You can go and check out. Now let's see what is structure packing. See first of all I'll write down here the example that we have taken in the previous video right. So now what would be the size of this S if you want to print. S is what? A variable of this struct type. The members are char A int B right. So how you will calculate the size if you say the size is suppose I'm here I am supposing int will take 1 byte sorry char will take 1 byte and int is going to take 4 byte. So you will say 5 byte but no with the help of structure padding automatically compiler will insert structure padding here right automatically you don't need to do anything for data alignment purpose right and why structure padding is done that we have discussed in previous video you can check out that video in the side button right. So now how the memory would be aligned here here you will this is 1 byte is for A these bytes would be empty bytes and these 4 bytes would be this for this B. So how many bytes 4 and 4 that is 8 bytes those total size of this would be 8 bytes right. These, this is what you can say it is wastage of memory these are pad, padding bytes padding bytes 1 2 3 not bits bytes 3 bytes are padding bytes here right. So this is what wastage of memory but it will why we do structure padding means why compiler do structure padding automatically not we do compiler will do automatically. Because to increase the performance right but at the penalty of memory right. But what if I do not want to waste this memory I just want to pack everything like this like I do not want compiler insert these extra bytes in between this I do not want any alignment of the memory I want the data should be stored something like this this one byte for this character A and next one two three four these 4 bytes 1 2 3 4 these, these are for this B means total I want 5 bytes of memory only right I just want to pack this structure. So what you can do that is what structure packing is. So you just have to do one thing you just have to include a simple line in your program in after that header files what you have to write hash pragma and we just write pack and here 1 in bracket right it is a directive actually 
which is used to you know turn on and turn off some features in your program. So, here we are turning on the packing features pack 1 right. So, you have turned on the packing here. So, you have means you can say that you have turned off the padding. Now, compiler will not insert these extra bytes. So, how much memory would be allocated now total four, 1 for this and 4 for this 5 bytes only right. You can run this program and you, you can see. So, this is what structure packing that is it. There is nothing much about structure packing. Now, if I write here one more char c. Now, I am not writing this hash pragma pack 1 then how much memory would be allocated automatically compiler will, will do padding. So, what 4 for this 1 for this 3 padded bytes then 4 for integer then 4 for this character 4 4 4 12 bytes and with this pack 1 how many bytes would be there 1 4 and 1 only 6 bytes right. Yeah you can save it means you can save a lot of memory with this packing but here at a cost of performance right more CPU cycles would be required to access the to read the memory to read the data from the memory right. So, performance would be a little bit less. So, what we can see this hash pragma pack will tell or you can say will instruct the compiler to pack the these structure members with some you know with a particular alignment right. Particular alignment here means if you want to give here not 1, 2 or 4 means you are providing your alignment right. How many bytes can be padded up to how many bytes right. But here we are not writing anything we are just writing 1 means only 1 byte no padding would be there right. 1 byte alignment would be there byte by byte we can access the memory right the processor can access the memory fine. So, now let us see practically what output you will get if you use this hash pragma directive in your program ok now. So, this is the program we are taking this is the example we are taking simple example I am going to take without packing we will see first of all what output you will get like the size of this s only 2 members char a int p. So, what output you should get see if I run this and you will see what output you are getting here is 8 bytes because of the padding 3 bytes are padded bytes in char right. Now, if I write here one more char char c suppose right and let me just save it and see let me just run this so what output you will get padding would be done automatically by the compiler you cannot do anything with this means it is not like that you are insert you are inserting the extra bytes uh, just to align the memory no. If you can stop this you can turn off this feature using uh, packing. So, see now here you will get 12 bytes right 1 char then 3 padded bytes then 4 for integer then 1 byte for character then 3 padded bytes because word size is we are assuming 4 byte right here in 64 bit it is 8 byte. So, here 8 bytes right the size, but I do not want to waste these bytes means extra bytes. So, what you can do I just want to pack the structure members right. So, what we can do here we can use this pragma directive and here simply you can write down pack and sorry uh, pack 1 that is it. Now, in this case what output you should get? So, see in this case what output you will get here no padding would be done because we have turned off the feature we have turned on the packing feature here. So, only 6 bytes 1 for char a then 4 for integer then 1 for char b that is 6 bytes right. So, this is what structure packing and padding is in the uh, in, no in structures in C and if you shift this char above this int then what output you will get I am not using this pack right we are just commenting out this hash pragma pack 1. So, by default padding would be done. So, in this case what output you will get previous case 12 bytes in this case what output you will get only 8 bytes. So, here you can save the memory just by you know writing these members in a smart way you can you should write down these members in increasing order of their uh, size or you can also write in decreasing order of their size right. So, char is 1, char is 1 int will take 4 bytes. So, we are writing it, it in increasing order fine. So, I guess that is it you can now try out different different uh, know examples and different different programs on this padding and packing fine. 
so now one assignment for you is rather than this care I'm writing here double double C so in this case you, we are not writing this packing how many bytes would be allocated what would be the size of this s with the structure padding you are supposed to tell me and if you use this hash pragma then how many bytes would be allocated to this s you, we are using this this care intent double here right so now that's it for this video in the next video we will see some problems on structures so now it's in the next video till then bye take care